Welcome back to another edition here of Hockey Skills in Ontario. Jared Schaffern alongside Alex Owens of Camp Hockey. And we did the skating, Alex. Uh, it's time to learn a little stick handling here. Yeah, we'll get those hands going. Uh, hopefully we're not chopping too many onions. I'm pretty good at chopping onions too. All right, so we grabbed some pucks. Uh, we're gonna work on our hands, work on stick handling a little bit, um, controlling that puck. So first thing we wanna come back to our standing spot posture, our standing posture. We wanna get nice and low in that hockey stance. So we drop our knees down, we drop our hips down, we keep our chest up. Think of a, a headlight on that logo on your chest and that's gonna shine forward, not down. Now, when it comes to stick handling, your top hand does all the work. It has all the control from here it's moving that stick back and forth. It's also kind of turning the doorknob here. It's gonna give you a little bit better control. The bottom hand, it's just gonna lift it up and put it down. So as it comes over, you're twisting, moving, twisting, moving, and then when you put it together, you can kind of start moving that puck here, nice and easy between your feet. So let's check it in, let's get all low, and see what you got. Pretty good. Cool, all right, so here's your challenge now. Okay. If we can, we wanna move that puck closer to the heel of our stick. It's gonna give you a little bit more control and not feel like you're moving it back and forth so much. This hand up top here, really yep. twist it, like you're turning that doorknob. You want that stick flipping around a little bit. And then this hand here, sorry, yep, so we're holding onto it really tight, you're kind of handcuffing yourself right now when it goes way out there. So bottom hand's gonna slide a lot. You kind of want to have violin vibes with this thing here. You want to be able to move that freely. That way if that puck is far away, you can reach. If it's close, you can pull. You don't have to really worry about cranking down on that bottom hand so much. The bottom hand just guides and the top hand does all the work. So let's try this. We're gonna do two stick handles between the feet and then okay. two outside. So we're gonna go one, two, and then one and two. And one, two, one, two. two. Good. All right, next little pointer for you. Okay. Especially for people who are a little bit older. You know, some of the kids are, are not quite in full contact hockey yet. But if I'm stick handling a puck like this here, I can see that puck great, but what can I not see? Anything in front of me. Anything in front of me, especially that 200 pound guy that wants to lay me out. Yeah. So we wanna make sure that that headlight on our chest is facing up, our eyes are up, and I can still kinda see that puck down here with my peripherals, but I don't wanna be staring you at it so be much. Direct. Especially in a practice situation, we can practice this without having a ton of pressure around us. Nice. Good. Perfect, oh. that's all good. Now we've worked it in front of us, we can work off the side of our body now. Okay. In front of us is great for stick handling down the ice, but now we wanna maybe load up for a pass or a shot, maybe a little fake, so we're gonna put that puck on the side of our body and basically just go from the heel of our, or heel of our skate to the toe of our skate. Little stick handles here, that top hand is still turning the doorknob, and the bottom hand just guides, and we're gonna have our eyes up here. Go ahead. Good. Bend those knees a little bit more. Good, settle in there. Awesome. This is better than skating. <laughs> Last one here. We're gonna work a rainbow, so we're gonna try and keep our feet facing straight down the ice. We're gonna have our hands out in front of us and we're gonna work that puck all the way back as far as we can and all the way back this way as far as we can without moving our feet. So okay. that really means that our hands gotta work away from our body, not be attached to our hips. Have a little bit of separation between the top half and the bottom half. And when you get comfortable, then we put our eyes up. This is expert level right now. I appreciate that. All right. So I'm going all the way back here. As far as you can. And then I gotta go all the way over here. Yep. If we bend those knees, we'll get you a little closer to that puck. You have more control. And I'm trying to keep my head up. And that head, yep. Perfect. 
So these are all three, four drills that you can do at home. You can do it on the ice if you want to, but if you don't have access to the ice, you just have the backyard, the driveway, take a tennis ball and you can do it at home. It's good stuff. I, I feel okay, but better than skating, but still a lot of work to do. Oh, we, we love stick handling. It's all fun. It's all fun. <laughs>